Welcome back folks, my name is Last Snow Meal and today we're gonna be talking about GTA Trilogy. So for today I actually wanted to do a review of these games because the GTA Trilogy is basically the GTA games of my childhood. But you know what? For the past 15 hours. Rockstar Games Launcher is down. Therefore, if you are on PC trying to play throughout these single player games, you are not able to because you're not able to run them because Rockstar Game Services are down on release day for 15 hours. So this is what Rockstar Support actually said 16 hours ago. Services for Rockstar Games Launcher and supported titles are temporarily offline for maintenance. Services will return as soon as maintenance is completed. Then one hour ago, we thank you for your patience and understanding as we continue to work on restoring services for the Rockstar Games Launcher and supported titles. Now keep one thing in mind, I don't use Rockstar Games Launcher. I had to use it for this game because Rockstar removed, removed the original games from Steam. You are not able to buy them anymore. So right now the only thing you can do if you want to play Vice City or San Andreas or Liberty City, you have to go through their launcher if you don't have those games from before or well the original versions. And little did I know that single player games on this launcher require a connection in order to be played. A connection for single player games which came out 15 years ago. You cannot play for 15 hours now on release day. So please tell me, how is Rockstar great in this? How are they good in all of this? Because whenever I said that on Twitter, that things, you know, for Rockstar, usually when they release and something has problems, people defend it. Tell me, how can you defend this? How can you defend that a single player titles in 2021 that were actually remasters of the original ones that were removed are now basically everyone is unable to play and everyone paid 60 bucks, 60 euros, even more if you live in other countries that have other currencies, even more, but you were not able to play. Tell me, how is that good? If you tell me, if you defend this somehow and tell me, I'm this and that and this, like this, like all you want, I don't care. But there is one thing here, hypocrisy. Hypocrisy of defending Rockstar when things are just not looking great. And don't take me wrong, I'm a huge Rockstar fan, I love their games, but this, the way Rockstar is heading in right now, if you think this is good, you have serious problems. Because all of these things, all of these problems are just going to result in GTA 6 having problems, don't you understand it? Don't you understand how companies work in general and every time there is a problem internal in the company, this is going to reflect on their future games. So now, what Rockstar did, is that they gave this remaster to Grow Street Games. And what they did, well, on one side, there were a lot, of, a lot of good things about this remaster. Because they are old games you like. That's nostalgia talking. These remasters are not great. They have issues, fundamental issues, that original games didn't have. And trust me, the only way you like this so far, is because of that nostalgia. It's because those are good games. Vice City, San Andreas and GTA 3 are good games, they're great games. That's why all of this is being defended. But this remaster, if you think, if you think that previous Rockstar would accept this quality, this quality insurance, you're wrong. Because if Rockstar is okay with this, is okay with these sort of titles, with these sort of remasters, then I'm worried how are they going to basically do quality assurance for their next games. Tell me, let's have a discussion now. How are they going to do this? And this is the reason why single player games should never ever require online connection. They are single player games and of course I'm mad who wouldn't be mad when you pay real money for something that you cannot access who wouldn't be mad so of course of course when it comes to the trilogy I played it for a couple of minutes before basically everything went down 
the trilogy, when it comes to the light, when it comes to some of those things, when it comes to the remaster part, they're okay. When it comes to character models, they're hideous. They are hideous. But that's okay, people will still defend it, people will still say, ah, oh, that's great, that's great, that's great. How is this great? Tell me. Tell me. I'm not your enemy here. I know people say, oh, you're just a CDPR fanboy, you don't like Rockstar. Listen to me, a lot of people on this channel played Rockstar games before some of you were even born. I'm not kidding. It's the truth. Don't tell me that I don't like Rockstar games. I used to play every single game and I still do play every single game Rockstar puts out. I love their games. But their company is going downhill. There is zero communications with the community. They are taking down every single mod. They are taking down save game files. They are DMCAing everything. Everything that they can possibly DMCA, their lawyers are DMCAing. Everything that this community works for. Everything. So tell me, please, how is Rockstar and Take-Two on your side? Please tell me. How are they on your side in this thing? And tell me something. Rockstar has been making gazillion dollars from GTA Online. GTA 5 has been selling like hotcakes, ever still, and is going to sell. When GTA Expanded and Enhanced comes out, it will be top 1. I'm telling you, it will be top 1. People saying they won't buy, they will buy. It will be top 1 when it comes out. And you're telling me that this company cares? They don't. They are the biggest, one of the biggest, not the biggest, gaming company out there. Their servers, peer-to-peer. -peer. They don't even have dedicated servers for the community. You can get your IP leaked. You can get your Rockstar ID leaked. Everything. And hackers in GT Online? Nothing can stop them. They can spawn wherever they want. So please tell me, how is this great? Please tell me. I'm very interested to hear how will people spin this and defend this. So yeah, I actually wanted to do a GT Trilogy video today. But I cannot. I cannot play the game that I paid money for. And this is the state of gaming right now. This right here is the state of gaming. This is what people actually get. This is what they get. And you know what? You can tell me whatever you want about CPR. They made a lot of bad things. Yes, they did. I'm not hiding that. They did a lot of good things. Same as Rockstar. But if I know one thing, is that with all of the bugs and glitches and every problem Cyberpunk has, I can still play it if my internet is down. I can still play it. But okay. Okay. No. It's all good. It's all good. Why are you defending multi-million dollar organizations? I don't know. I will I will never I will never know why you do this. Never. Their management sucks on both sides. CDPR management sucks. Rockstar management sucks. But at least at least some change can come. But Rockstar doesn't want to change. At least CDPR hired some modders to help them out. I wish Rockstar would actually do that. I wish Rockstar would reward all of those people who have amazing talent who work on these GTA mods. I wish actually Rockstar did that because there is a lot of talent in the community. A lot of talent, a lot of amazing, amazing modders in, in uh, GTA community. People who do wonders. Nah. It's better to sue them, it's better to remove everything they work on, because why not? Why not go after the community? That at the end of the day, will still continue to pay you millions for shark cards. They will still continue to pay you money, whatever you do. And they will still continue to defend you. And you know what defending someone gets you? They're just gonna become worse. If you really care about something, you're going to speak up on it. If you really care about this company, if you really care about GT, if you really care about this trilogy, you're going to speak up. You're going to say. But I know this video is going to be disliked. Dislike all you want. I don't care. 
So yeah, I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm really mad. It's been a while since I was this mad. Thank you for watching. I'm very interested to hear how the comments are gonna be in this one. I'm very interested to see it. Stay classy, everyone. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.